Hello, everyone. I'm Wang Xing. Today, I'm going to talk about Fruca Maximus. First part is introduction. With the success of Green Can Energy Drink V, Fruca Beverage has quickly arisen from fierce competition and was able to become one of the leading brands for energy drinks. However, due to 86% of its sales all coming from the energy drink side, the need to expand their product range became necessary. As the sport drink market was possessing large potentials, it was then vital that the company establish segment for. Sports drinks in that attempt to attract more profit. This case study focused on the new products promotion of the Fruca beverage, Maximus, and explores its strategies used to advance more in sports drink area. First, for the business objective, their goal was to sell 7.5 million drinks over two years, also get the 10% share of the category. That means their customer goal will get 20,000 people to regularly drink the Maximus, an average of 26 times a year. Based on Millward brand norms, the brand goal of the company is to create 26% brand awareness and getting 1 million people to try the new product. Lastly, their activity goals is aimed to reach 80% of the population between 5 and 7 times a year. The success of the campaign was not easy as Fruca faced four key challenges to launch into sport drinks. The first one is fierce competition, as the sport drink market was dominated by two largest companies global-wise, which is Coke and Pepsi. Powerade and Gatorade already share 98% of the category. These two brands already went through the reputation-building process and already obtained many loyal customers. Secondly, retailers of sport drink were happy with their current status. Powerade and Gatorade make the duopoly for the sport drink market, which bring high profit margin and stable sales growth for retailers. Some of the retailers didn't want a third brand to diminish the category. However, Fruca have a poor track record. In 2007, they launched a new product, MyZone Rapid, focusing on faster hydrating. But this new product failed miserably and lost the company millions of dollars. It lost, according to the report, around 75 of consumers reported that they were currently satisfied with the sport drink category. Of also, they were not interested in other alternative provider. Launching through the Maximus, Fruca set up a four-step promotion campaign in order to deliver both mental availability and physical availability. The first step in the campaign was done through producing a six-part TV show, which was named Max Mill Academy. The show was aired on Fox Sports in an attempt to engage male customers. The show aimed to demonstrate to the retailers that Fruker was serious about the new product and had planned in where its products should be stocked in store. The second step aimed to make Max Mills famous and reach its customers. Firstly, they use outdoor advertisement to reach their brand goal of achieving 26% promoted awareness. With Go Big as their idea, Max Mills was literally too big for a billboard with a headline, Size Matter, and we thought this billboard was bigger, which further delivered to their consumers its big size. Lee Frogers bring a proposition to life through product innovation. They create the world's first beer-flavored sport drink, and they promote this new flavor like a limited edition, with only a small run of 10,000 bottles. Also, they partner with Fiddy Weeper that Nova gave away to World First. For achieving final step for both availability, Fruca used social media to reach hardness the power of push and pull communities. Use of Instagram and Facebook and other social media was able to consolidate their mental image. Their greatest challenge is their position in fridge. Maximus stay on the bottom shelves. They add a tap measure to deliver the functional message of size to get people feel extra size for themselves, which strength their physical power in target groups. The creative strategy was very successful because it focused on a very specific group of people and was able to tap into their need and desires through study research of their consumer behaviors. To start off, Max Mill was able to realize that their target market was 16 to 44 year old men and was by setting a general goal of generating their attention and interest. The brand could then establish the core idea need for the campaign to take off and community to their target groups. Through its Establishing the idea of its big size, Max Mills is then able to conduct great execution, which is decide the form advertisement that will be delivered to the consumers. They excelled in this area through using advertisements with shell demonstration of the drink large size. For example, on billboard, the drink would exceed the boundary of the board and extend out of it, presenting the target audience with direct visual impacts. 
Finally, tactics were implemented along the way to consolidate the brand image in its target audience mind. The creation of beer flavored drink and occasional giveaway again ensure that the brand image is deeply locked in consumers' mind. Excluding creative strategy implemented by Max Muse, in doing this, not only Max Muse is able to expand the market share without taking over Coke and Pepsi's market share, it is able to contribute to six eight percent of seven point two million imports in the sport industry. The media strategy was successful used by the client because Max Muse is able to incorporate many different types of media and use them as a collateral bundle to deliver their core values to the targeted groups. Starting off their traditional screen media, Max Muse developed a six-part TV show as demonstrated before and aired on Fox Sports. By exposing the product to a wide range of audience, the brand is able to gather more interest and attention from the audience. And as a result, its distribution rate in retail restore almost double from 51% to 94% in merely half a year. Then the non-screen media was used to complement the effectiveness of screen media. The use of tape measure and advertisement with people jumping out of plan were all conducted with a pen to ensure the large size of product was emphasized and highlighted to consumers. Outdoor media was able to reach 89% of guys and achieve a prompted awareness of 35% versus their brand goal of 26%. Lastly, social media being the most advanced and trendy media out of there was again utilized by the brand. They create activity through social media in order to incentivize purchase customers, show people how they went big through. The campaign used the tag, I can handle it, allow the person with the biggest grip to win a trip to Vegas. The social media campaign helped Max Muse to increase the whooping 24% category share, and the statement in retailers' mind that Max Muse is here to stay as a serious sport contender. Though the campaign was a major success in many aspects, there was still some area of improvement that would be made when the campaign was carried out. Firstly, the brand would have aimed for a bolder target audience, Although the brand was located in Australia, it is necessary that brand expands its market outside of Australia and reach a larger Australasia region so that they were able to attract larger consumer base and increase their sale volume by a large amount. Secondly, the target group was very narrow. Although some might argue this gives the brand more focus on core value it's trying to deliver to its consumer, it is in fact limiting the range of consumer that able to access this product. If Max Muse was able to broaden its large target group and involve targets like young sportive women, it would be obtain larger consumer base and again increase sale. Finally, Max Muse's use of creative strategy and media are very successful. However, that is mainly due to the brand is initial starting off the position and hasn't obtained many market share. Once the brand has set foot in the market and occupied its market share, it is then necessary that the brand change the strategy. It is core value of big size might be attractive for gathering new customers. However, when the brand is mature, it's then necessary that the strategy change so the market share would be well maintained. That's all of my project. Here's the reference list. Thank you for listening.